At Ogilvy Public Relations, we spend a lot of time thinking about and putting together programs that reach women about their health. And we always want to be sure that we inform those programs using the most up-to-date data. So we fielded a study with TNS Global to find out how independent women were feeling, specifically when it came to their health. And what the data show was that women are very much the chief medical officer in their home, but they are not feeling that independent when it comes to their health. And actually, if they think about how their health has improved over the past five years, they actually think their health has deteriorated over the past five years. We also found that in the home, a woman's health is taking a backseat, where seven out of 10 women actually say that they put their family's health in front of their own. We saw a significant difference between how moms and dads behave inside the home, where moms are much more likely than dads to take a vacation day off from work so they can take care of a sick family member. We also found that moms worry that if they ever got sick, that their family couldn't get through everyday activities because they wouldn't be there to manage them. The data also show that women are more so than men the chief medical officer in the home. So we think about all the great progress that has been made where women are almost half today's workforce, where there are more women than men in colleges and universities, and women are starting to out-earn their husbands inside the home. A lot of the roles are actually staying quite traditional. For us as marketers, what this really means is, you know, the chief medical officer of the home is pretty maxed out. And we've got to make sure that we put together programs and messages that are truly targeted to the right woman who is in the right frame of mind to receive that message. I think it also says something important about our society's health, because if women are the chief medical officers in the homes and they are suffering and not taking care of their own health, what does that mean for our society? If she is the one who takes care of her family's health, if she is not able to do that, then what's gonna to happen to the families? Who is gonna ensure that people are going to their appointments, they're taking their medications, and overall looking out for their own health? And recognizing that women are almost half the workforce in the United States, their economic implications as well. As we look forward at health reform, where one of the key focuses is going to be prevention, we've got to ensure that we target our programs correctly, that we build and put together programs that reach the right individual. In many cases, that is going to be the woman or the mom in the home, and ensure that she has the support and the education and the services she's going to need to ensure her own health as well as her family's health.